Love Connection, Chaucer Edition, the show where fair maidens hear from anonymous men to find their true love. Let's meet today's contestant, the wife of Bath. She's had a hard time finding love. She's been married a whopping total of five times. Let's see which husband was really the right one for her. Her classic story deals with jealousy and certainly follows Capilanus' rules of courtly love. So let's hear from the wife of Bath herself. Thank you, good host. So, virginity is not for everyone. I never claim to be a saint, but I won't go to hell for having a good time. Let him be breed of period wit and seen, and let us why this potent barley breed. After all, Abraham and Jacob, two holy men, had multiple wives. God never specified how many times you should get married. He just said to have sex with your husband. Also, why else do men and women have genitals? Some people think the genitals were only made for excreting urine, but I say they have been made for business and pleasure. How else does a man pay his debts to his wife without using his progressive instrument? My, my, I must say, such sexual and vulgar language coming from a woman is quite startling. Let's introduce husbands number one, two, three, four, and five who are sitting behind the curtain. I gave her everything she ever wanted. I loved her unconditionally. It was okay that she only had sex with me when she wanted to. I was just lucky enough I could get it up. She had everything with me, but I don't think she ever really loved me. I, I gave her everything she ever wanted. I loved her unconditionally. It was okay that she only had sex with me when she wanted to. I, I was just lucky I could get it up. She had everything with me. I don't think she ever really truly loved me. I gave her everything. I mean, uh, I loved her unconditionally. Uh, it was okay. She only wanted to have sex with me when she wanted to. I mean, <laughs> she had everything with me, but I don't think she ever really loved me. I was her first husband that wasn't already halfway into his grave. Okay, sure, I did sleep around. But so what? She did too. She would flirt with others in front of me. How was I not supposed to be upset about that? I may have beat my wife, but I was always loyal. And 20 years old. I always made sure to flatter her in bed, and I was horrible to her, but I loved her. Her bruises from beatings were a sign of my life. Thank you, husbands. Now, let's hear the wife of Bath's first question. All right, boys, did you ever cheat on me? No, never. My heart belongs to Allison fully. I had not a dime to spend on anyone else, most because she used all my money. I never cheated on her. My heart belongs to her fully. I, I had not a dime to spend on anyone else, mostly because she spent all my money. Nah, never beat her. I mean, I, I loved her, whatever. Nah. I had not done this by anyone else, mostly because you used all my money. Yeah, I did. But Allison will flirt with other men right in front of me just to make me mad. I did, but I was worried she did. After all, she told me she wanted to marry me as soon as husband number four dropped dead. And it didn't help that I was 20 and she was 40. Good answers, husbands. Now, let's hear the wife of Bath's second question. Did you ever beat me? Of course not! I couldn't hit her and mar that beautiful face. I loved it too much. But also because I was too old and weak to throw a good punch. Uh, I beat her? Of course not! I, I couldn't hit that beautiful face. I uh, loved it too much. But also I was too weak and old to throw a good punch. Beat her? Of course not! I, I couldn't hit that face. I mean, she was too pretty. But I was also a little old and weak to throw a good punch. <coughs> Maybe a little. It got me so mad when she flirted with other men right in front of me. Just because I was sleeping with other women on the side, which I'm perfectly entitled to. Yes, I did beat her. And here's why. I love to read old proverbs of wicked wives, like Delilah cutting Samson's hair or Diana causing Hercules to set himself on fire. I told these stories to Allison so I could put her in her place. When I was reading one of my favorite Wicked Wives books, she tore three pages out and punched me so hard that I fell back into the fireplace. So of course, I punched her in the ear so hard, she's still deaf in that ear. But when I saw her laying on the floor nearly unconscious, I felt so bad for what I'd done. I showered her in a thousand kisses and begged her to forgive me. 
Right then, I swore never to harm her again. We never had another fight after that. Wow, husband number five sure sounds complicated. He was. And therewithal, he knew of Mo Proverbis, then in this world, they're growing grass or herbs. That's some fine figurative language, way the back. Now, let's hear your final question. Okay, men. So how much freedom did you give me? I gave her all the freedom in the world. I let her spend all my money and do whatever she wanted. But the most freedom I gave her was when I died. Then she was free to spend my money and use my land to find another old husband. I gave her all the freedom in the world. I let her spend all my money and do whatever she wanted. But the most freedom I gave her is when I died. Then she was able to spend all my money, really, and then use my land to find another old husband. All the freedom in the world. I mean, I let her spend all my money and do whatever she wanted. But the most freedom I gave her is when I croaked. Then she was able to spend all my money and use my land to find another damn husband. Wives should not have any freedom. They should have no power over their husband. He makes all of the decisions for her. I used to think that wives shouldn't have any freedom, but after I nearly beat Allison to death, I realized that she deserves to make all of her own decisions. My wife is my equal. Okay, wife of bath, the time has come to make your decision. Which of your five husbands was the best one for you? It was a hard decision, but I chose husband number five. No matter how hard he beat me, he was so good in bed that I would always go back to him. He didn't treat me well at first, but eventually he gave me my own freedom. Husbands number one, two, and three gave me freedom too, but I couldn't stand those old hags. Husband number five was the only man I ever truly loved. Wow, who knew the wife of that cared about more than just pleasuring herself? She actually found true love. Well, that's all for today's version of The Love Connection, Chaucer Edition. Bye-bye. Go. Welcome to- <laughs> Damn it! Go. Welcome to The Love Connection, Chaucer Edition. <laughs> Let him be breed of pureed with- <laughs> Wait. What voice should I do for oh, burning? We give her the tickle like that. Yeah. Okay. Wow. <laughs> well, that's a <laughs> Wow. Who knew the bat? Jess has no pants on, this is dragging me. Who knew the wife of Bath cared about more than just-